Okay, so now it comes to doing voicemails. You have two different types of voicemails that we're gonna be doing, incoming or outgoing voicemails. Um, for both of these, I recommend that you record using uh, a site like this. If you've got the ability on your computer to, to make MP3 files, then by all means do that or an app or whatever the case is. But if you don't, this website right here, which is also linked with this video recording, um, is a great free tool for you to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here, you're gonna say start recording. It may ask you to allow your microphone to have access to the site, that is okay. Make sure that your default microphone is the one in which you have the best audio quality. So if you have a headset, make sure it's that and not the microphone on your computer. You're gonna to wanna to choose just the microphone and you're gonna click start recording. It'll count down three, two, one. Um, and then it'll allow you to record. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that. So let's go ahead and hit start recording. Hi, you've reached Sean from Natural Acne Clinic. Sorry I missed your call. I was on the other line speaking with another client. Please leave a message after the tone and I will return your call as soon as I'm available. Thank you and I look forward to speaking with you. Okay, so as simple as that, uh, I made a voicemail message. So you can hit play and listen to it back. Hi, you've reached Sean from Natural Acne Clinics. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna click save and it's gonna download the MP3 to your computer. Now it's time to hop into Just Call and upload that message. Now you, the benefit of having the Chrome plugin is that you don't need to go and look up the address and then log in. Simply click on it in the top right corner and click open dashboard. Bob's your uncle, boom, here you are. Now, in here, I'm gonna show you the two different places where you'll put the different voicemails. The first one is gonna be your incoming voicemail. That is the one in which somebody calls you and you're not available and they have to leave you a message. That is managed on the left-hand side under phone numbers. When you click on that, you may just see your phone number, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna click on Brittany here and I'm gonna go into that message. Now. As I go through here, I'm gonna click on custom greetings and that's gonna take me down to this section right here. Now, there are some different options in here. The two in which you will actually um, be setting up are voicemail message and voicemail after business hours. In one of the previous videos, I told you about setting your business hours that are in there. What I recommend is just bookend it from the times that you are in and out so that if somebody gets or calls you in the time you're not actually there, then they will get the after hours message. So you can have two different versions. It's as simple as clicking add a new message. It's gonna pop up. You're not gonna use the text to speech option. You're gonna click on upload custom message like this. You're gonna select the file, which is right there. It's gonna upload and you hit upload. And there we go. Now the voicemail is uploaded. Now you can at any point come in here and click edit. Um, and upload another message, um, another voicemail in there. If you wanna just clear it out, you can click reset here. Um, and it's actually gonna say, you wanna remove the voicemail message from this number. Yes, I'm gonna remove it from that number because this is Brittany's number. This is not mine, so it doesn't make sense for her to have my voicemail on there. Now, when it comes to the outgoing voicemails, these are what we call the voicemail drops. This is when you call somebody and you get their voicemail. You don't have to sit around and wait for the beep and actually record a message have a bunch of pre-recorded ones that you can use. To get to that, you're going to click on the top right hand side where your icon is and you're going to go to settings. From there, you're going to go to the left hand side. You can either scroll all the way down or you can click on the voicemail drop function and it's going to take you down to this section right here. We can go ahead and upload the audio. Now it's going to ask you for a name. This is where I, I recommend that you choose a naming convention that makes sense for you. Because when you do a voicemail drop, you're gonna click on a button and it's gonna pop up a list of the voicemails. And these are the names that you're gonna see. So if you have a basic one for voicemail, I'm gonna use something like VM, um, basic callback. If you want, you don't even need to have the VM there, but just make sure that you name it in something that you're gonna know. We're gonna click continue and we're gonna click upload and I'm gonna choose one of those that are there. Okay, now the one I just recorded is not an outgoing one, it was meant for the incoming, but for the sake of this demonstration, uh, that's what we're gonna do. And you can have as many as you want as you see here in the list. If you need to delete them, you're gonna click the X, it's gonna delete, then you can upload a new one. So let's go ahead and make a call. I'm gonna call myself uh, and we're gonna do a voicemail drop once the voicemail kicks in. So we're gonna click on dialer here. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do the voicemail drop. I'm gonna go ahead and call myself. And, and then I'm gonna force it into the voicemail. So it's gonna call, it's gonna ring. Force the voicemail recording. Now the key is you need to wait for the beep to happen, okay? So I'm going to pop it up. Please record your message. When, finished, when it beeps, I press play. There. Oh, you would have chose just, uh, just left voicemail um, from the list. But that is how you leave a voicemail drop.